Now at three, a shift in the search for Sebastian Rogers as it enters its eighth day now. Today, law enforcement announced they're scaling back, but the family of Sebastian is still holding on to hope for his safe return. They spoke exclusively with our Holly Thompson earlier today. Holly live in Hendersonville there at the command center. Oh, Holly, how are they doing? I tell you, obviously very emotional. Sebastian's mother, Katie, she broke down several times during our interview today. I mean, as you can imagine, this just touches that mama's heart and she wants him to come home. And we listen in as she talks about what these last eight days have been like for the family. How are you coping? We're on a constant roller coaster ride of helpless and hopeless and many other emotions all in one and it's a never ending roller coaster. It doesn't stop. It won't stop until he walks through the door. Hey, Katie tells us that she woke up that morning and within three minutes she knew Sebastian was not in the house and called 911. They say they have no idea what would have motivated him to leave the house. They say they have been fully cooperating with authorities and know they've also spoken with his biological father and those who know him from school. So we're going to have much more on this story. We're going to be talking to her about what they've been going through, the very latest with the search, also reaction from family and I even asked them are they in the clear now what is the latest with this story so we'll have much more coming up but for now for the latest on the search I'm going to toss over to Danielle Ledbetter for that part of the story Danielle yeah, Holly, so you can see that this lot behind me is pretty much empty. This is at the command center. Earlier today, we've seen a lot of first responders leaving this command center. And this is a big difference from what we saw last week. That lot was full with hundreds of first responders all here looking for Sebastian. Now, law enforcement officials told me today that they have thrown everything they possibly can at this search. So we, of course, have told you about the dogs, the horses, the drones, but they also brought in cave specialists and people to search underground and storm drains. Eric Craddock with the Sumner County Sheriff's Office said the decision to scale back did not come lightly. He also did say that they will continue to be committed to finding Sebastian and there's no indication that he's not alive. Holly. All right, Danielle with the latest there. Now much more coming up throughout all our evening shows coming up at four o'clock. Their message for the community. We have lots to get to, but for now, Holly Thompson live here in Hendersonville.